So you open up Rimworld. You say new colony, crash landed, random randy, randy random, commitment mode, strive to survive, and you say next. Randomize the seed one, twice, 50% world, generate. You pick tropical rainforest, no you don't. You take temperate forest, next. You go through a few ideologies, you pick the uh, easiest one, and you get to this screen. What do you need? What are you looking for? Well, don't fear, I'm here to tell you what you need. Okay, so uh, the first thing we need to talk about are traits. You might think traits, uh, who cares? Who cares what they have? But it is important. Um, it can end a, a save. So there's a lot of traits, but I'm going to give you a few bad ones and a few good ones to look out for. You don't need the good ones, but I recommend keeping away from the bad ones. Um, the good ones are a psychopath, obviously. Um, fast learner and tough. That's some, some good traits that you don't need it, but if you get it, it's good. Bad traits. I recommend staying away from this. Okay. It's wimp. Depressive, physical, hypersensitivity, and pessimist. It's the, that's bad traits. Okay, stay away from them. There's a lot more. I'll go into a video where I talk about traits and what's good and bad. But for now, that's all you need to know. Then your first um, colony, your first colony, and what you're gonna need. Um, uh, sorry, your first colonist and what he's gonna need. Um, I recommend on the first one, now this is how I do it and it works for me. Um, I don't play this game 100% maximum efficiency. I just play it for the good story and, and play through it like that. First one, I recommend construction, having a passion in construction and social. Your first colonist is going to be the one that builds everything and also recruits the new colonists. Now, I'm quickly gonna get a uh, example of what I would pick for my first one. So this is an example that I just got. Didn't take me an hour at all to get this. Anyway, um, the only thing that would be better in this is if they had a, a high passion for that. A big fire instead of a, a small fire next to the number. But this is basically a good one. Um, I didn't look at the traits, uh, but this is basically just talking about this. This is basically what I would like to get in the first colonist. In the second colonist, uh, I recommend cooking and plants so that he can cook and also grow the food that he's going to cook with. And then as a bonus, I try and get someone that's good at shooting in this one, just so that he can hunt as well. Um, so basically, this would be a good one, shooting with 10, then just be able to have a passion in cooking, decent skill, maybe like a five in cooking so that you don't get your your colonist food poisoning or give it them food poisoning and then plants just a passion and i don't care too much what level um is in plants but at least the passion so that you can level up quickly to grow some hill root later on now the third colonist i recommend uh plants almost like this one plants and as a bonus i would like uh intellectual this is because he's only going to do uh, uh, growing food. That's all he's going to do. And he's not going to grow that much because you don't have as many uh, colonists to feed and don't have the amount of manpower to grow big uh, fields. So I recommend plants and then intellectual so that you can do some research um, in between the seasons and things like that. I, I recommend that. Now, bonus uh, uh, passions that I look for. I don't... Uh, uh, go out and search for this, but if I can find it, it's great, which is um, animals and um, medicine. Animals and medicine. I look for that. That's a nice bonus to have. And um, yeah, basically that's the three colonists that I pick in the start of my playthrough. And uh, also this is going to go into a series where I start us off on day one and take us through a series, what I do, how I do it. Um, so stay tuned for that guys and thank you for watching this one i hope it was helpful and let me know if there's anything else you want to know cheers